Hi everyone, this is Sumit here and welcome to my channel Excel with Sumit. In this video, I'll explain how to create dynamic drop down list in Excel. For example, here, if you have a category, subcategory and value, and you want to have a dynamic drop down where if you select a category, for example, vegetables, then dynamically your drop down should change. In similar fashion, you should get value corresponding to category and subcategory. So let's go ahead and learn how to create dynamic drop down list in excel in the raw data here you have category subcategory and value and here you want that you should create first the drop down of category which has fruits vegetables beverages and dairy to create a drop down what you need to do is select this cell and then go to data ribbon and then go to data tools here where you have an option of data validation click this you will get a dialog box to create a data validation here click in the allow drop down and you'll get many options so click here list here in the source write the drop down which you want to have here for example here we want to have fruits vegetables beverages and dairy so we'll write down here one by one we will write down first fruits we'll press comma then we'll write down vegetables again we'll press comma now we'll write down beverages we'll press comma and then at last we'll write down dairy we'll press ok here as soon as you create this you see that you have got a drop down of fruits vegetables beverages and dairy but here when you click anything you see that nothing will happen except that whatever you have selected the name will be selected in the cell now we want to create a subcategory for all the category here to do that first select the category one by one so let's go ahead with the fruits category so to create the fruits category select the cells which falls within fruits category go to the name box here and name this as fruits just remember the name should be exactly matching to the name what you have in the category so we will write here fruits and then we'll press enter now let's go to the second category where we have vegetables select the cells which falls within category vegetables then go here in the name box and write this as vegetables and then press enter now we'll move to beverages select the cells which falls into beverages go here in the name box and write here beverages and then press enter and at last we'll select for dairy so we'll select the cells we'll go to the name box and we'll write here dairy and we'll press enter now we have renamed the category of every subcategory now here we'll go to subcategory and again we'll go to data and again we'll go to data validation by clicking the symbol here here we'll again go to list and then here we'll write is equal to indirect function so we'll write i n d i r e c t we'll open the bracket we'll select the cell and then we'll close the bracket and we'll press ok now we see that we have got a drop down here so now if you click this drop down we see that we have got the subcategory of vegetables suppose we select here potato now if we change the category here suppose we change this to dairy and then here we'll get a dynamic drop down of dairy category so here we got milk cheese and yogurt so we select here yogurt now again if we change the category to beverages we'll get a dynamic drop down of beverages where we have tea coffee and juice in this way we have got a dynamic drop down of sub category within category now let's go ahead and understand how to create a dynamic value for the category and sub category to do that let's add an additional column where we will concatenate category and sub category so we will write here is equal to we'll select the cell which has fruits here we'll press ampersand symbol and then we'll select the cell which has sub category and then we'll press enter now we'll drag down this formula till the bottom here now to get a dynamic drop down of value we'll write is equal to x lookup We'll press tab here now the lookup value is category and subcategory so we'll select the cell we'll press ampersand symbol we'll select the cell now we'll press comma now the lookup array is the new column so we'll select this column here we'll press comma and the return array is this column here so we'll select this column here and then we'll close the bracket and we'll press enter we see that we have got the value 120 so here we got the value for beverages and coffee which is 120 now suppose if we select the vegetables category here and here in the drop down if we select tomato here the value is 25 which corresponds to this cell here so here we see that how can we create the dynamic drop down list for category subcategory and value and also if you want to learn xlookup you can visit my channel and understand how to use xlookup function which is better than vlookup and index plus match function